Hi everybody! Okay, today we're gonna do something uh, that's needed for many of you uh, how to level a bed. So, you see at first I cut a piece of regular paper printing paper, I cut a, a small band and I make it round like this and I hold it like you see so that I can really feel if it's dragging and how much but first you have to preheat everything why because if you don't preheat the nozzle can have plastic from the last print at the end and it will mess up your bed leveling so now we are at temperature and we will do a home axis so that we can level the bed. Okay, so you use this paper like this to drag underneath and since it's curved it's not gonna bend. So to level the bed you just screw or, or unscrew the four corners so here I'm really far from the bed, so I'm bringing it closer until it just drags a bit. Do the other corner, and then you do the four corner that way. And you repeat, you know, until everything is at the same height. So here I'm I have trouble with that with that screw but I like to do my first layer it's the paper is just dragging just a just a little bit so here I'm really far from the bed I'm gonna bring it closer and closer until it drags just just a little bit same thing here I, I don't go too close to the corners because uh, sometimes the bed is as the, the sides are lifted a bit but you don't usually print that far so I'm redoing everything back and forth again and again this bed was really really unleveled and I made sure that I was really far and the first time you do the bed the bed leveling if you're not sure if it's where it's at you can you know screw in the four screws just to be sure that you don't hit the hot end on the bed and then move up from there that's what I'm doing right here so I'm, I'm moving from a really far to something that is quite the right amount so you see I, I go back and forth and back and forth on the four corners until I satisfy that it's equal on the four corners. Just just you just sense the dragging. It's not biting, it's not just just barely touches. And the way that I'm holding the paper, it's easy to sense if you're closer. And you know I'm turning, I don't know, a couple of degrees at, at a time, and even less. And between the, all of my tests, there is about, I don't know, between 45 and 90 degrees, half a turn, between a too much and too little. That you're gonna see just after this. So I, I'm, I think I'm satisfied. Satisfied right now. Yeah. So we are now ready to begin the tests. Okay. First test. We are really, really close to the bed. The hot end is almost touching the bed, and there is almost no plastic extruding. And if you hear there, and there. This is the extruder skipping steps. 
which is not good. And it's also hard to remove what's on the bed. And I didn't use any glue stick. So in this second test, I will show you what happens if you are too close to the hot hand, if the bed is too close to the hot hand. And I'm gonna show you, you will see right here, you see the line, the lines going back and, back and forth are not straight because there is too much plastic oozing out. And if you see, and if you look, the lines are all, they have a, a ridge everywhere. And you see plastic right here oozing out. So this look, and if, and if you try to feel the first layer, you're gonna sense all of the ridges that it that it's oozing out. So that's a good example of really too close to the bed. Here's a close up. You see all of the lines because the hot end it is too close to the bed and it's oozing out on the sides. And under underneath you almost don't see any lines. Okay, next test. It's gonna be just a bit too much. Just a little bit too close. If you see, you, al you also see some ridges and some bobbling on, at the front here. But it's beginning to be a nice surface. That would be printed, if you print a big piece, that wouldn't matter. Um, the piece would be fine. Let's look at the underside. It's and it's easy to see that here in close up. You also you also see the lines as before, but you have less lines. So you are even underneath. You're beginning to see the lines. So you're still too close, but eh, not far. Now the good example. You're gonna see what a right leveling looks like. So you almost you see the reflection you are, you see the reflection of the nozzle and the line are really straight and nothing is oozing out and if you touch the surface it's gonna it's gonna feel smooth and if we go into close up you see the lines are almost inexistent It's really smooth to the touch and on the underside you see all of the lines but they are touching so that's a good first layer. Now we go the opposite way. We're gonna be too far from the bed so you, you are going to begin to lose adhesion. As you see at the, f the first line here and when filling up the square this is a 50 by 50 millimeters square by the way 0.3 millimeters I my first layer is 0.3 millimeters I so you see you lose bed adhesion in the middle there there is the plastic is coming up from the bed you will see at the end it's it's like a the side of a fish. It's really easy to take out of the bed because you don't have much adhesion and you see even the lines are not really touching and it's 
coming up the bed and underside you see all of the lines separated so you are too far from the bed and now you can even see that the hot hand is far from the bed and it's going to be worse even worse than the previous one and it's probably will unstuck from the bed just touching it because it's not yeah you see yeah doesn't stick at all and it's even worse than before now for some of you you will ask what about the raft a raft can be useful because if your bed is really messed up it's gonna it's gonna do a first layer of about usually one millimeters one millimeter high and print on that surface so it's gonna even out the raft is gonna even out the bed before beginning the print but I don't like the finish and even here it doesn't stick well to the f because there is a gap between the raft and the first layer and it doesn't stick well so I have this is this is the first layer the raft is fine it's printed fine but the piece is not good so that's it for me guys I hope that this video demystifies the bed leveling and the first layer uh, as usual please subscribe to my channel um, give me a thumbs up if you like this video comments below are really welcome and see you in the next video ciao